Welcome to video 18 in series 3 and in this video I'm going to show you how to perform collision detection. Alright, so in order to have collision detection, one of the game objects uh, contacting the other must have a rigid body that isn't set to his kinematic. So the grenade already has that, uh, so it's perfect for using for this case. And uh, I'm going to make a new script and I'll just call it grenade explosion. So this is the first step to getting there. And that is to identify where did the grenade actually contact uh, wherever it hits. And then later I'll do an overlap sphere and then I'll apply an explosion force uh, to any rigid body game objects in its range of effect. All right, so I'll just open that up. Okay, and I'll just uh, change the line endings as usual. All right, and I'll put it into the namespace, chapter one. And take all this, put it inside. And I don't need these uh, starting methods. And the new Unity method is void on, on collision, enter. So make sure to write that carefully. And it takes an argument, collision, And I'll just call this variable col collision, standing for collision. All right, uh, so that's the method. Now it'll get called whenever this rigid body contacts something. So any any rigid body that you put a script that has this method on it, the method will get called when that rigid body contacts another collider. All right, uh, so all I'm going to do is simply show uh, where in the world space did this collider contact? Uh, so I'll just say debug.log. I'll make use of it later. Uh, debug.log col.contacts. It's an array. This is an array and it holds each point that this uh, rigid body goes in contacts. It holds them in an array. I'm only interested in the very first item in the array, so the very first contact point. Uh, so to access that, you simply put in square brackets and inside of it, a zero. This is the first index and this applies to arrays and lists. This is how you access whichever item in that array or list you're interested in. And I'm only interested in the first point of contact. All right, so dot point. And that's a vector three. Oh, sorry, I just went too fast. Let's say vector three. Uh, so I can't print a vector three to the console immediately. Uh, I need to convert it to a string first, so that's where I use this to string and use two round brackets. Okay, and that will work. And I'll now destroy uh, the grenade as well. I'll just say game object, the small game object there, meaning the game object that this script is attached to. Okay, that's ready, and I'm going to go and attach it to uh, the grenade game object. So if I go over to it, I lock the inspector. I'll just drop it in, grenade explosion, unlock, and just hit play. Just increase this a bit. All right, and because I clicked, it did fire one as I was dragging it up. And now if I uh, go ahead and fire away, you can see down in the bottom left in the console, it's showing me the world space at which uh, this um, grenade is contacting. And you can see that they're getting destroyed immediately upon contacting uh, the ground or anything for that matter. All right, so that's it. That's enough for this video. You've seen how to detect collisions. All right, thanks for watching and see you in the next video.